big story tonight. Is it only a matter of time before Tata Motors pulls out of West Bengal? Sources have told NDTV that Tatas are running out of patience. Well, in a sign that things are heading for a showdown, they've also said that this may be the beginning of the end and that we expect a decision soon on the deadlock. Well, for the first time since Mamta Banerjee started her agitation against the nano plant in Singur, none of the employees attended work today. This after being threatened by Trinamool Congress protesters. Nano has come to a halt. For the first time this morning, not a single worker was seen at the Singur plant today. Last evening, protesters tried to block a factory gate to prevent Tata Motors employees from leaving and then gave a warning asking all workers to stay away from the factory today. The Tatas have clearly had enough. They're running out of patience. In a statement, the corporate group said, our employees and workers are not attending work today. We are assessing the situation. Mamta Banerjee insists she's not in favor of violence, but is not responsible for individual actions. <laughs> Corporate India is standing behind its own. Practically every major industrial house, even Tata competitors like Bajaj, have issued statements condemning the violence in Singur. A CII statement said, and I quote, Growth process is being held ransom for short-sighted political mileage. Adverse impact is not restricted to Singur or West Bengal alone. With the opposition in no mood for a dialogue and continuing its non-compromising stand on the demand for the return of land to unwilling farmers, it looks like the days of the nano rolling out of Singur are numbered. Banu Haralu, NDTV.